In today's video, I'm going to run you through designing and 3D printing a gauge pod for my 21 Silverado, completely from scratch. So we're going to go through some prototyping, some design process, some pre-CAD, and eventually printing it off and coming up with a final product. So stick around. All right, so first thing I want to do with this thing is figure out uh, where I want to get it mounted. I do like pillar pods. In my previous trucks, I've had pillar pods. But I don't like getting rid of the handle and putting the black pillar pod in or having to worry about painting it. So I don't really want to go that route. But this uh, pillar pod has those two covers there and underneath them is mounting bolts. So I was thinking about here or here, higher up. And that would be totally personal preference. I think for myself, I think right here looks about good. I'm driving down the road, doesn't create much of a blind spot, nice and easy to see, accessible from the steering wheel. So I think that's what I'm gonna try aim for. I think we'll try to make a pillar pod that'll mount to the pillar. So let's get this piece popped off. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is design a little pad that's gonna fit in there and be the basis of our pod and how it mounts. So I started by taking that trim piece and tracing it out onto a piece of paper. From there I was able to take a straight edge and mark each of the flat sides of it and then I could measure in between where each of them intersect. And also I could take an angle finder here and measure the degrees of each of those angles. With all the measurements taken, then all I need to do is go into FreeCAD and I could start drawing some straight lines in the editor and then using those measurements to uh, constrain those lines at a certain length and join them to one another and then use the angles that we got from that traced uh, trim piece and enter those in there as well to create the pad. And you can see the rough design looks a little bit crude but with uh, FreeCAD you can just use uh, the editor to round the edges out and also create some chamfers on the edges to make them more smoother and look like a better piece. I started by printing out a very thin slice of the pad that way I could use it for test fitting and once I had it correct and fitting 100% then I'll come back later and make the pad a bit thicker and then add the gauge pod itself onto it. Oh, pretty close to that one, I think we'll trim her down and some of the lines, make it a little bit smaller and try again. Ooh, still not quite. There we go, perfect fit. So now I can take this piece that I've already laid out in my FreeCAD. I can make it thicker. I can make a pod to go on it. Basically be the basis of the entire gauge pod now that I know it's gonna fit. So I took and drilled a hole through this first uh, kind of pad mock-up piece to try to get how to mount it. As you can see, that fits pretty good there. Okay, so that just kind of confirms that I got the hole in the right place so I can measure off of, uh, measure that hole where it is and then transfer it onto FreeCAD and then the next print will have the hole included in it so it won't have to be drilled. And another thing I'm thinking of is I'll be using the threaded rod. I want to put the threaded rod in first, put a nut on so the handle's tight again, and then onto the threaded rod this will slide with a nut from the inside of the gauge. So I'll go take some measurements and probably add a pod to this thing and we'll print off our first prototype. One of the other things we're going to need to do to the pillar in order to have the wire hidden is we're going to need to drill a hole in that bottom slot. So I'm going to pop this top off, get the bolts out, and we'll pull the pillar off and go make a hole in it. Give it a good yank. And then it just pops into the bottom. I'm just gonna use a uh, electric die grinder. I got just a carbide burr bit in the end there. Just to give it a little notch out and make a little slot for that wire to go through. And there you go, you can see the slot pretty good there. 
lots of room to get the wire connector through. And I guess if a guy ever wanted to add a pedal monster, that needs a secondary wire around, so you need the extra room for that connector as well. Well, back in FreeCAD, we know our pad is the right size, so then we need to make a cylinder that'll be the gauge pod. So we start by making a circle, and we turn that circle into a cylinder, and then basically just gotta make a smaller circle inside of it to hollow it out, and that'll give us kind of the, the pod. Then we just take the back and add a chamfer to it to smooth it out, and also on the inside. And that's how the pod is made. Then we can take it and mold it back together with the pad that we made earlier to make it into one unit. And then just need to add a couple of holes for, one hole for the wires and another hole for the mounting. Now the holes I had to come back and redo a couple of times before I got to the final design, but I ended up doing a fairly big square at the back and then a slot style at the front in order to get the pod to slide on properly and mount, which you can see here. And that there is actually the final design that I come up with. Okay, so I wanna get the wire around so we can start test fitting with the first prototype with the wire in place and everything. So in order to do that, this panel just pops off. And what we're gonna do is take the wire and you run it from the OBD2 port here, just up into here run it up along the side and then I poke the extra into there and it actually just comes up right here along the side six inches of wire sticking out just to give you an idea and just gotta throw the panel back on and we'll get the pillar back in place and with the wire routed this time Okay, so here's prototype gauge number one. Had a square for the wire to pass through, and then the hole, which you can see is mangled by a drill bit. Because uh, it doesn't quite want to slide on, so I've been drilling it out, trying to make it fit. And uh, yeah, get the wire in place. And it'll just go if I press it, but we got a couple problems here. We're rubbing right here, so I need to add some more angle to the gauge. Second one being, we need to redesign and fix our, our hole, our mounting hole, and also do something with the wire. We need something a little bit easier here for removal of the wire. It wants to get stuck in there, so. Okay, here's prototype number two. I angled the hole, made it bigger, just increased the diameter of the hole, and made a bigger wire slot. So now you'll be able to fit multiple wires through there for the pedal commander or whatever you might be running on top of this gauge or whatever it's called from Banks. So let's try to get this one fit in there and see how it goes. And I still can't get it. Even with the bigger diameter hole and the hole set at an angle, I still can't get it in there. So um, I'm gonna have to do something different. Go to some sort of slot, I guess, like I talked about before. Thought I'd get away with the hole, but not happening. All right, prototype number three. Looks pretty decent. This is something I'm gonna have to work on. Kept the square for the wires, and I just made another rectangle slot. That way the stud will be able to go through, and then as you push it on, technically it's raising up, so the slot will allow it to do that. And you can kind of see how I got the angle in there. I think I have it about right, so that the nut will be flat and flush when we put it on. Let's get her in here and see how she goes. Very nice. Okay, so here it is sitting in the vehicle. Doesn't rub in the inside there now. It sits nice and flush. Got it kind of set up to match my gauges, the red and white. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. No wire showing. And I guess if a guy wanted to, it could also make another one if I wanted to do two gauges. Do one up top and one on the bottom. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.